In this segment, you'll see how to attach the lift bracket, tilt anchor, and lift strap assemblies to your front scoop. Begin by positioning the lift bracket assembly part 4 over the lift frame assembly as shown here. Then slide the mounting holes in the lift bracket onto the two short pins on the lift frame. Now, place a washer part II onto each pin and secure it in place by inserting a cotter pin part BB through the small hole in the pin. Using your pliers, wrap each leg of the cotter pin up and around the pin. The next step will be to attach the tilt anchor assembly part 5. Holding the tilt anchor assembly like you see here, align the outermost flanges of the tilt anchor with the large center mounting holes on either side of the lift bracket assembly. Next insert two hex bolts part C through the mounting holes in the lift bracket and tilt anchor flanges and secure the bolts using nylock jam nuts, part P. Tighten the nuts securely. The last step in this segment will be to install the lift strap assemblies. Do this by first loosening the bolts and nuts on the lift straps one quarter turn or until the strap parts slide back and forth. You'll retighten these parts later. Now turn the lift strap assemblies as shown. Slide the mounting hole located at the top of each lift strap onto the large mounting pins on the inside surface of the two arms on the lift bracket assembly. Secure the lift straps in position by placing a washer, part GG, onto each mounting pin and inserting a short hairpin cotter, part AA, through the small hole in the mounting pin. With the upper end of the lift strap assembly secure, position the holes in the lower ends of the straps over the upper front mounting holes in the lift frame. Then insert a clevis pin, part MM, through the holes in the strap and the lift frame. Slide a spacer, part Y, onto each clevis pin and secure both in position using a short hairpin cotter, part AA. Note that the lift strap assemblies may be installed in the upper rear mounting holes of the lift frame to increase the lift height. However, this will increase the lifting effort required. Using the front mounting holes will enable you to lift a 150 pound load about 6.5 inches using 28 pounds of force. Using the rear mounting holes will provide about 8.5 inches of lift but will require 35 pounds of force.